In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I use these little things called lead magnets to create huge demand for my products and services, generate customers for completely free, and I'm gonna share with you some examples and templates that I use so that you can learn from that, build your own in a matter of a few minutes that has people lining up ready to purchase your products and services. So first things first, what is the lead magnet? Well, a lead magnet is, as the name suggests, a magnet, a draw for someone to become a lead for your business. We all know what a lead is, right? Someone who's interested, someone that perhaps we have their contact information and we can follow up with them again and again. So a lead magnet serves that purpose and, and typically in the marketing space that's going to be a free gift or a bit of training in exchange for someone's name and email address and sometimes even a phone number. That now starts the relationship off between your business and the prospect on good footing. Right, the first interaction is, hey, I wanna provide you some value, but you just provide me a means of communicating with you. And now we have the ability to follow up with them in days, weeks, and even months to come. So I've got a few examples that I'm gonna take you through and teach you how I put these together in just a moment. But let's start with looking at an example of one of mine so that you know what a lead magnet really is. This is called the No Pitch Webinar Blueprint. And it's, as the name suggests, it's a blueprint. And I show business owners who are coaches, experts, trainers, service providers, looking for more clients, I show them a model and a framework that they can use from start to finish to build a webinar that sells. Now I've got this printed out for the purpose of showing it to you and talking about it, but we don't actually send this to someone in the post. Uh, they get a digital copy. I've just got this for a visual aid for you right now. And this works great for not only providing that value to the prospect, but also identifying the type of prospect that would be good for our business based on the content of this, right? Think about it. If someone's interested in building a webinar, if they want access to this, that shows me that they're probably a good client for my business because this is the type of business we like to help. If you want to check this out for yourself, there's actually a link in the description box. You can go ahead and grab a copy of this and have a look through and see how I put it together. But the whole game plan with a lead magnet like this is that they get a bunch of value, but it leaves open-ended questions, right? You follow the framework and you go, well, this is great content, but I don't quite know how to put it all together. Maybe I should inquire about becoming a client or exploring what it's like inside of John's coaching program. And so it's a perfect stepping stone and a lead in to that conversation. And what's great about these things is you can put them on a capture page in exchange for a name and email, and you can put that anywhere on the internet all over social media. You can have it in your bios, in your uh, social platforms. You can be making posts about it on your Instagram wall or on LinkedIn. You can be sending emails out to contacts. If you get referrals in, you can point them to this first so that it starts the relationship off right. And furthermore, lead magnets work insanely well for paid advertising. If you're gonna run a Facebook ad, if you're gonna run an Instagram ad, if you're gonna run a YouTube ad, you need to make sure that you're getting a really good return on your advertising dollars. And what we find is with lead magnets, the desire is so high because it's so specific, they're actually learning something, that we get a really good opt-in rate, meaning of the people that click on our ad and come to our opt-in page, we get a really high proportion of those people opting in to receive this thing, which means we get loads and loads and loads of leads flooding the business, so we're getting a really good lead count for our advertising dollars, and now we've got an amazing pool of targeted people that we can dive into and hopefully sell some product to. Now, before we go any further, I wanna tell you one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making with these lead magnets. And I'm wondering if you may have made the same mistake. We often think, okay, great, we've got an, an entry point. So someone opts in for this thing. Now, the only way that I'm gonna make sales is by building a relationship with those people. It's gonna take a few weeks, and eventually, fingers crossed, some of them will start to become clients. This way of thinking poses a huge problem because if you're spending money on advertising to promote this thing and you're not making that money back and becoming profitable until weeks and weeks down the line, you have a substantial cash flow issue and you won't be able to reinvest back into the ads and you're gonna run out of money. You're gonna run out of marketing budget. So there's a smarter way to do this. What I just described is absolutely something that you should be doing, but only in conjunction with this other tip as well. So here's what you need to do. We need to find a way to make some sales immediately. Not many, but just some. Just enough to cover the advertising costs. Then we can let what we call the back end kick in. 
After days and weeks of building a relationship, more of those leads are gonna become customers and clients, and that's gonna add to your profit, but we need to have made some sales immediately. So here's what you do. When someone gives you their name and email in exchange for your lead magnet, on the next page, we do not just confirm that they've registered and leave it there. A lot of people would just say, thank you so much, you've requested your copy of the No Pitch Webinar Blueprint. It's making its way into your email inbox. Go and check that out now. That's a really, really bad confirmation page. What we should be doing is making an offer for something on that page. You might say, well, John, it's too early to be making an offer. They've only just heard of me and they're just opted in for the very first time. Isn't that a bit pushy? Isn't that a bit salesy? Isn't that too premature? And the answer is, for most of those people, yes, it's too premature and they're not ready to buy. But some of them are. Think about it. How many times have you been on social media and you've seen an advertisement or a video from someone that you've not heard of before? but the branding, the positioning, the scripting, the messaging, it all just sounded really good. And it sounded like exactly what you needed right now. And you went to their website and you grabbed a copy of their free guide. That sounded awesome as well. And on the next page, they had an upgraded training if you wanted to go into this in greater detail and it cost $37. Sometimes we just decide, you know what, shoot, 37 bucks, let me grab that. Let me see what's in that program as well. A small proportion of people will do that, but that is what's going to have you recouping your advertising spend, and then you'll make more profit on the back end. So when someone opts in and they land on your thank you page, you're gonna say, hey, thank you so much for grabbing your copy of the No Pitch Webinar Blueprint. It's making its way to your email inbox right now. It's gonna take a few minutes. In the meantime, if you want to double down on your training in this area, I've got an amazing mini course that I'd love to tell you about. There's details further down this page. That's what you need to do, and that's gonna start landing you some sales immediately. So now that you've got a good understanding of what a lead magnet is, what it does, and how it works, let's talk about the content. What needs to go on this? Well, we've looked at this one already, so let's move on to some different ones. I've got a sales script. Part of my training company, we teach sales, and I've got this, the push script. And this is a way of selling on the phone that doesn't feel pushy, doesn't feel salesy. This one actually comes in two parts because when we teach this sales script, we teach a two call process. The first call with the prospect sets up the sale, the second call closes the sale. So I actually give these away um, via the same opt-in page. Step one and step two. Now if we take a look at this, we've literally got, I believe it's nine steps, and these are nine things that you need to do to set up the sale correctly on the phone. And then the pull script, step two. I've got seven things that you need to do correctly to set up the sale. Now, when you look at this, and you go through this, and you learn these steps, you are receiving value. You're learning something. But this is what we call incomplete training. There are missing pieces here. It's not that I've purposefully left something out, it's that it's just simply not detailed enough to have a full picture. So somebody opts in for this, it's a completely free guide, they take a look at this, they go, well, this is cool, this is interesting, I'm learning something from this. And that's the point where they decide, yeah, this is a bunch of crap, and you've lost a lead, no trouble. But some people go, I kinda like this John fella. I've just learned about him on social media two days ago. I like this framework, I like what he stands for, I like the type of thing he's teaching. Let me see what else he's got going on. Let me investigate his products and services. So that is what you need in a lead magnet and in the content. You need it to be just enough that they can look at something visually and say, that looks impressive, that looks interesting, I'm learning something, but it feels so incomplete that if they want to further their training, they have to investigate your business further and take a look at the paid programs and products that you have. So things that work really well are frameworks like this, we've got infographics like this, detailing out a, a type of system, but of course you really need some training to go along uh, with it. You know, I've got this, a 60 second script. So this is where I teach how to put together a YouTube advertising campaign that works really, really well. So I literally give them a 60 second script, what to say, what to do in the ad to have a, a great impact with a paid ad campaign. But again, you take a look through the script and you go, okay, well that script looks impressive, that looks interesting, I like that, but I need it to be tailored to my business. So maybe I'll inquire 
with John Pemberthy about his coaching to see if I can get some help to implement this in my own business. Another great example, checklists, right? I've got this one here, 12 point conversion checklist. This is also one of our sales training lead magnets. 12 things that you need to do on every sales call to have a greater chance at getting a yes instead of a no. And you can literally print this off and tick it as you go. So we've got a great checklist, they're learning something, but do they need to understand what all of these things mean? Do they need to understand how to implement these correctly? Yes, they do. And that's why they'll go through this and decide I would like to go further with John's company. I'm liking the stuff that I'm learning from him. Now I've taught you a lot already, but I've saved the best until last the best type of lead magnet. If you really want to get serious about this and put a bit of time, bit of effort into this, but you want the insane results, you want the big revenue, you want the big profit, my favorite lead magnet of all time is not just a free simple guide or framework or infographic like this. It's a webinar. A webinar is an online event that you can fully pre-record so that it's automated and there is where you provide the value and someone gives you their name and email address in exchange for registering for the webinar, to have access to the webinar. And now they're not just having a look at a quick framework, they're actually giving you their name and email address coming into a training room, it's completely free, but you give them 30, 40 minutes of great training and at the very end of the webinar you can make an offer. And what we find is it takes a little bit more work than putting one of these together in the beginning, but the quality of the leads that you get on your email list are second to none. There's something about people that opt in for a webinar training that are just higher quality than people that impulsively register for a free gift and we find the conversions on the other end of the webinar when I make an offer, it's insane. We've done webinars where I've made literally millions of dollars from the webinar itself. If you would like to double down on your training on this topic of webinars, I'm actually hosting an event coming up here real soon called The Future of Webinars. It's two days, it literally costs $7 to attend, and I'm gonna break down the whole shebang for you, how we build these webinars, the webinar framework, how I run traffic to them, how I build a big email list, how I follow up with those leads, it's an amazing million dollar system. And if you have a business that would benefit from more leads and more sales, I'd love to invite you to the future of webinars. There's a link in the description box below. With that, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Do me a favor, if you got some value from this, hit the like button on this, subscribe to the channel. We put out great new content like this every single week and I'll see you in a future video and hopefully I'll see you on our future webinars event coming up here real soon. Check the description box.